CEV imagery. We're out here with Adam Schmidt of Phoenix Rising Photography. And we are here with Adam's first flight ever. Uh, we have never fired this up. This is the first time. And Adam now is the proud owner of a DJI, uh, is that what, Phantom Vision? Phantom Vision 2, yeah. Phantom Vision 2. So we thought we'd take you along the uh, ride to get the Phantom Vision 2 flying or die trying. <laughs> so Adam, uh, you had a chance to look at it last night. What were your initial thoughts? Uh, initial thoughts were pretty good. Uh, good build quality, it seemed like. Uh, the only downside was having to update the firmware of the device. Uh, on the remote, I actually had to take the remote apart to get the USB port in there. They have not put a USB port on the outside of the remote control. Okay. Other than that, everything was smooth going. Batteries charged up within a few hours on everything. The longest took the range extender. That was about three, four hours charge time. Other than that, you should be ready to go. All right, then what, what are, are there any like pre-flight things that uh, you have to do to get this thing ready? Uh, we gotta go ahead, just gotta power everything on kind of in the right order. Gotta power on the remote, gotta power on the range extender, power on the DJI itself. Then go ahead and connect the Vision app so that you can actually see where we're going on the iPhone that I have uh, hooked up to it. And then we gotta calibrate the compass. And then once you do that, we should be ready to go and ready to take off. Sounds good. Okay, uh, we're not quite yet ready to get started, but uh, Adam's gonna give us an orientation just on the basic uh, components of the Phantom Vision here. So Adam, why don't you just sort of give everyone a quick overview so we know what we're looking at. Sure thing. Right here we've got the uh, remote control for the DJI. We've got an iPhone uh, clamp to it right now, iPhone 5. Uh, this is our range extender right here. So this is actually what's going to help us communicate with the DJI and get that video. Uh, because this is going to act as a little Wi-Fi connection point on the iPhone. And then that will allow us to be able to see what we're getting on the camera on the iPhone. Uh, much farther than we normally would with just the iPhone itself. Um, I think it gets us up to about a thousand feet or so, maybe a little bit more, a little bit less, depending on any interference around us. Right, so you'll actually get like a like a first person point of view when you're yeah, actually flying? Yeah, we'll get flying. a full first person point of view on the iPhone itself here. Uh, the only downside is bright sun might kind of wash out the screen, make it a little bit difficult to see. But I know a few others have uh, fashioned kind of a little visor for it. So it's we'll probably have to do that we'll living out here in the one. great Southwest desert, right? Exactly. exactly. <laughs> okay. Other than that, we've got our controls here, our power button, and that's our remote. Fantastic. Let's take a look at the actual copter itself. So here we've got the DJI quadcopter right here. We've got the camera right on the underside here. Uh, it does have an axis movement. It can go up and down here, but it cannot go left or right. So we are kind of stuck on just the one axis there. Uh, we've got the kind of dampening right here. This is all pre-installed, uh, comes on the DJI. You don't have to install any of it here. The camera is an F2.8 camera. It does have a 140 degree uh, field of view. Uh, so it's kind of that wide angle camera like a GoPro would be. And uh, this can go ahead, I believe it can do 1080i, 60 frames a second, 1080p, 30 frames a second, and then there's a couple other low resolution as well. And it is a 14 megapixel uh, camera as well. Awesome. And then on the back here, it's got the battery. You can uh, press it the one time to actually get the indicator of the battery of how much power you've got. If you press it again and then hold it down really quickly, it does actually go ahead and power up for us. And then we've got our quad copters on top there. Awesome. All right, looking forward to getting this thing fired up, man. Through the initial steps, it's like flying a 747. <laughs> There's actually a pre-flight checklist. So Adam, uh, what is it you gotta do to get this thing up in the air? So if I read all the instructions right in the manual and the quick start guide, if I did, <laughs> um, you know, that's always a big question. Just gotta go ahead and power on the remote control here. Then go ahead and power on the range extender. And then we gotta go ahead, power on the DJI. I'm gonna go ahead and connect up my camera here. Using, using the uh, DJI uh, Vision app that is found in the App Store for Android and for iPhones. And now you're doing what? Turning it? Now we're turning it to get the calibration of the compass in there. And we'll 
see if this is calibrated. How does it tell you? It's all done by the lights. First day flying out of the box over the stadium and we survived. Next up, Grand Canyon. Grand Canyon. See y'all there. <laughs> Remember from the video, does that look like you're calibrating the compass there? Does it look like you're holding your whole Dude, I have no down? idea, man. I, it's not my toy.